So here, see also, in need of scraping. My take on um, uh, going from roughing now in circles, of course, to pinpointing would be to use a um, a um, blade with more curvature. So I'll swap to that. So more radius blade, and then I will go down in speed. And then move a little bit slower. In rows, individual rows, individual marks. So you will see already that you're breaking up point to points and that should be evident from bringing it up also now. It helps also to have these sizes references, this must be scraped. So that you can use this when you measure the dough tail in here. And also, of course, to have the flats. And this aligned to the table, to the flats below. So I think this will be sufficient on that side, really. This is only for the screws anyway, but on this side it might be more useful to have it functional. And the way that I test that, we can back it up with a square here. So putting it square and checking that this is square. Hold it like this. With feeler gauges, of course, in here. And checking the top, of course, the usual way. Seeing that this is way off. See, almost 10. Hundreds. And um, because this was a little bit high here, I'm going to just have done this already, but I can show again step scraping three times, two times, one time. So I start here. I go in circles with the biax speeding up a little bit also. This one I take from the other side like this to avoid hitting the corner. Then I cross my cut, I take the second one. And I take this one also. Then my third cut on this side. Also including that.
And uh, I think actually also I want to relieve the center a little bit, like taking uh, this down so that I'm certain that the piece doesn't wobble. So try to get that done now. Let's test. Oh yeah, it's beginning to suck itself down on the plate as a proof that it's quite flat. As you can see, I got coverage all over. I might want to break it up a little bit now. Um, guess I'll do that. And then uh, <clears throat> we can also blow up this. But I'll, I'll test it first. Just let's, for the fun of it, do it. You see, not much. So we have to improve that. Up to one break up like this. And then on the other side, you can all hear that this, there are some high spots. Could be hear the thump sound. Now it sits. Okay, there was probably some grit under there. Yeah, close and sucks down. And you can see it's beginning, at least I see, to break up in in smaller parts. Now to show the third rule of scraping, depth of cut. I just indicate on top of the the part that I have finished scraped, and you can see the needle fluctuates from high to low points. So that's that's a proof that you have some scraping depth. High here, here, still high. This low in the middle is okay. I'm looking at low spots here, but I want to have it higher in the perimeter anyway. So okay, and then on the other side. Oops, it sucked down. Yeah, it's uh, perhaps a little bit liberal blue. But, uh, I know that there are some holes in here now so hopefully this will be the last time that I think is okay enough then we'll try this piece here Still is quite, at least the coverage is good. Yeah, that's the top slide.